Robert back here. This is going to be part two of the uh, wood carving. Uh, Kuska coffee cup, whatever you want to call it. Uh, off camera, I went ahead and dug it out a little more. Got it fairly deep. That's about as deep as I'm going to go. I'm about done with carving on the inside. Took my Dremel tool and sanded inside the handle. Get my finger in there good now. So now let's do some sanding on this belt sander. As long as my belt will last here. I've got a tear in it there, so I don't know how long it'll last. I'm not sure if I have any more belts. So let's give this a try. Okay, I didn't have a belt left for that little sander. I like it a lot better when I do this big one. And uh, this belt don't have much life left in it. I want to sand a few minutes with it. And I do have one more new belt for this. So uh, let's get what life we can out of this one. Okay, that's a slow going process with that belt, so let me switch this belt out and I want to lube that bearing real quick. I got a bearing squilling, so uh, get back with you here in a few minutes. Okay, that's all the machine sanding I'm going to do. It's going to be hand sanded from here on out. Still going to be a long ways to go because that course built left some good scratches in it, but we'll bring it down a little at a time. All right, he could use a little more sanding, but honestly, I've sanded out. I've sanded even a lot more than what I've done here on camera. So, uh, I'm, I'm done with sanding. We say we wipe this down with some denatured alcohol, see how that wood grain is going to pop. Like that. That's going to be gorgeous without any wood burning. I did notice when I was sanding, I got my handle a little thin, and the vibration from the sanding gave me a crack right up through there. Just a hairline crack. 
think I can put some CA glue in that and seal that back up hopefully. I don't think it's going to go any further, it's just from the vibration. So we'll see a glue, it should be good to go. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm to get this straight before we even start here. I'm no James Humerick. Definitely not, and I'm definitely not Adam Coyote 238. Man, those are two of them best artist I know I seen Adam wood burning the other day and uh, my knowledge he's fairly new to wood burning but he freehanded it no drawings nothing and uh, James is the same way I think James might use some patterns but he is, he is one of the most talented men I can't do that I roughly sketched some trees on here so it's not going to look nothing like theirs but I'm trying so Let's, uh, let's get with this, see what it looks like. Okay, I never should have tried to freehand that. Those suck. But it is what it is. Steve, buddy, I hope you like it. Got yourself a big boy coffee cup now. I probably should have not burned anything on here and let you uh, give it to your son-in-law. I think you said who done your wood burning. Uh, they could have done so much better. But... Anyway, it is what it is, so hope you like it, Steve. By the way, I'm out of my, I finished my cups with a uh, beeswax and blend mix that I've made for uh, bars and cutting boards. And I've got a bottle somewhere, I misplaced it. And uh, as soon as I find it, I'll, I'll put a coating on here and that'll make it grain pop, stay popped, and uh, I'll get it out in the mail, buddy. All right, you all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe. God bless.